I've always actually wanted to be sort of the village potter, but I live in a time where we don't really have a village potter anymore. So this little space is like my little chapel. I love this little space and the domed ceiling in here and the quiet in here. I guess it's peculiar in a way in this day and age to work as alone as I do. But it's a very sort of ultimately selfish sort of thing really. It's what I like to do. Time, it's interesting. I've gone through moments feeling pressured about making things faster or something and Every time I've let that happen, it's been a big mistake. And I realize that one of the things that keeps pottery nice for me and nice in the results in the pots is taking the time for every pot that the pot requires, not allowing myself to be rushed through it, not giving it less than it's due. And that's hard sometimes, you know, if you've got a lot of pots to make and so on, if you do that. I think it's a big mistake to separate all the work that goes behind the throwing from the actual making of the pots. It sort of gets you in the right state of mind. It's all part of the whole thing. When you take away what some people might call the drudgery, mixing clay, sifting ashes, scrubbing down kiln shelves, when you take all of that away, you create a very unhealthy situation, which is that then you're supposed to sit at the wheel and be creative from dawn to dusk. It doesn't work like that. And I don't think people are like that. I think that, you know, there's a wholeness to the process and to people and to living where you really need to do these different kinds of activities and that different days feel different. You have more inspiration one day, less on another. So having all these different range of activities is actually a benefit. Then when you do sit down at the wheel, it's, it's wonderful. You know, you feel, oh, I'm at the wheel again. It's where I want to be. And I always think, actually, potters don't get to spend as much time at the wheel as any of us wish, you know, because there is a lot of other stuff to do. But then when you do sit down at the wheel, it's wonderful. And it feels great, and you're happy to be there. It's sort of like that. The simplicity that um, has come from making many pots is a little bit freeing. And I've done it for many, many years making what I want, putting it out in my showroom, hoping people come by and buy it, and they do, you know, enough. And now it's changed because I'm doing the, um, a lot of dishes for restaurants, and I'm thinking it's so amazing to me that I can think on any given night, dozens and dozens and dozens of people are eating off my plates, and they don't even know it. They may register it or not, but subliminally it's making a difference, and it changes their experience, their experience of the food, the feeling in the place. It's humbling. You're making, you know, things for people to use. They're not going to be thinking about you. You're not in a gallery. You're not winning great accolades and so on. But it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful tribute that people are just eating off them. You know, it makes me happy.